All right, here's a, a little uh, review here of AOKP. This is the boot animation I had to show you guys. It just looks so cool. So we're gonna let this thing boot up and uh, see what we got here. Give it a sec. Wow, that's a fast boot up. I love it. All right, it says to activate, but I don't use this phone, so it's not activated. That's why it said that. All right, um, as you can see up here, we have our uh, battery percentage, um, little circle, which is pretty nice. Uh, let me show you what else we got here. We have um, some toggles, your brightness, a um, bunch of different rotation toggles and everything all right there on the drop down, which is really nice. Um, camera, different things. Let's look at your app drawer. You know, standard ice cream sandwich app drawer. We do have a uh, Super Sue here. And then we do have some special widgets like this one here. We'll put this one over here. So you got the, uh, we yeah, have pick something cool. Ooh, we got a jelly bean one. I like this one right here. So different clocks if you guys want them. Which is pretty neat. So um, just your standard, your widgets here. And go through some of these. Got your ROM control widget if you want to put that on there. So, um, some nice features there. This launcher is Trebuchet launcher. So, here's your standard settings, you know, screens and all that kind of stuff in here. Transition effects. I like to change these, these are always fun. Um, we'll go with, uh, let's see, Cube Out. It's kind of nice to re re uh, refresh our thing here. So, I got a kind of a cube transition effect. So definitely got all those settings you can mess with. Um, let's go into the uh, system here. System settings. You, you got your toggles up here. Your standard stuff there. Um, we'll go to about phone. And uh, we can see here AOKP is your build. And you're on ice cream sandwich which is 4.0.4. .4. So pretty standard. Uh, stuff there. Um, you got your developer settings, you know, your A to B debugging or Android debugging, all that kind of stuff right through here. Standard development settings. Uh, let's see here. I did notice that, okay, this one now it's working. Earlier when I did the first time I turned on, it didn't say discharging here, it said unknown. So that was a little bit uh, weird. But now that I've rebooted once, it, it looks like it's cleared that up. So, um, ROM controls. This thing's got a ton of stuff in here. I haven't even played with it all myself. Um, let's see here. General IU. You can disable the boot animation, which I think looks awesome. I don't know why anybody would want to disable that. It looks so cool. Um, your LCD density, you can adjust. Um, notifications, custom carrier labels, if you want that to change from your, for your lock screen. Uh, navigation bar, enable bar. Which I think, all right, it, yes, it will work, but you know, um, I'll reboot later. I don't want to reboot right now. It'll put that little navigation bar on down there at the bottom. Here you go, menu left, right, different uh, navigation bar colors, bunch of buttons. You can fill in however you want it. Um, trans transparency. I mean, this thing's got a ton for the na the navigation bar. Um, Let's see what you got for lock screen here. Text color, lock screen style. Let's see what we got. Honeycomb. Wow. Lock screen style. There's a bunch of stock. Um, AOSP, honeycomb. Yeah, like I say, a bunch of different lock screen styles here. Um, choose wallpaper for the lock screen. If you want to show battery percentages, weather, um, music. Uh, torch you can put on there. I don't know if that's working yet. Some custom apps. Uh, very customized of a lock screen if you guys like that. Power menu options. Let's see what we got here. Um, so yeah, show screenshots. I like that enabled. I don't know if that works. Um, navigation bar toggles. Okay, all those good things you can add on there. Let's see what else we got here. General settings, behavior. Man, this thing's loaded. Stats bar font size, more transparencies, show notification counts, see what other toggles. 
Oh, customize your toggles on top. If you like this style on the, on the left here or this style on the right, you can change those toggles, reset your toggles, enable toggles, toggle order. Um, so here's your toggle order right now and what toggles you have. So you can adjust that. Let's see here, toggle, enable toggles. All right, so I like, let's see, I'm going to add silent mode. And I'm going to get rid of Bluetooth because I hardly ever use my Bluetooth. All right, so now my toggles, silent, and I got rid of Bluetooth. So you can see it's right there. It's changed down there for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what other things we got. Battery modifications battery bar locate battery bar lo location hide stead and yeah, so this thing's just just loaded battery bar color I don't even know yeah like I say um, thickness yeah it's, it's got a lot of different settings the battery bar let's see here if I can show you guys this battery bar options text only circle mod yeah so there's all kinds of stuff on here hide I think status bar nav bar bottom bar status bar so see the battery bar on top it tells you how much battery you have on there that's what you're changing here it's a tiny little bar right above your notification drop down so when it's charging it goes back and forth up there on the top well kind of neat little thing if you want it on there um, then we have performance which I don't know if that's maybe not working it just yeah it seems like performance isn't working right now in this uh, ROM yet or I maybe need to restart to clear that up not sure let's see if we can get startup tweaks and see if that'll do anything for us it doesn't yes we want to grant super sue let's see if it'll work guys like I say this is like second time I booted it up so all right, so we can enable startup tweaks, and we'll do that. And then here's your thing: you can uh, zip align APKs, enable SD boost. Let's do that. Read ahead value. I, I love that value. That's perfect. You can fix permissions. You can clear etch. A um, bunch of different things on startup. Let's see if performance will work now. No, nope, still closing it out. So those are some basic uh, modifications you can do on there, guys. Let's see what else we got here. All right, um, we're gonna go back and we'll just kind of look through this thing really quick. Like I say, you got some different transitions here. You got the persistent search bar up on top. I showed you your toggles and that kind of information and that, that charging bar, that battery bar on top. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, that's uh, AOKP ROM for the uh, Droid X2. Um, this thing is pretty smooth. I did a quadrant on it down here and I had about 2700 which is pretty standard for the ice cream sandwich builds that I've been seeing. Um, so other than that that's pretty much what you're looking at. Here's I'll show you guys your phone. Um, there you go. It's your phone look. No call logs and some people in there. So dialer or whatever. Um, text messages. You know, nothing, nothing too terribly exciting. An app drawer again. So that's it, guys. That is your uh, your ROM here. So uh, if you get a chance, check it out. You can look at my description. You subscribe to my channel, and then um, I'll have a link in my description for the uh, XDA Developer page that has the zips and for everything, your gaps and your ROM. And go ahead and read the directions there and try it out for yourself. Thanks, guys.